guys, <laughs> today I am turning into JLo. JLo booty. Big, big booty. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's celebrity inspired look is JLo from her new music video with Iggy. I really liked her look in the video. Um, she had a small portion of the video with this look on, but I thought it was beautiful, so I wanted to recreate it for you guys. I really like it. It's so pretty and fresh and glowing. I tried to glow as much as I could. I used a lot of bronzers and highlighters, and I'm loving this red lip. And if you like this look, then keep watching. Let's turn into JLo. So first I'm gonna start off with my Bare Minerals Primetime BB Primer, and this is in the color medium. I always like to put this on before I start my foundation because it smooths out my skin and gives me a little bit of coverage. You can see it like kind of smooths out the pores and the fine lines. My favorite, all-time favorite primer cream. To me it's just a primer, but I don't know, they just put BB in there. To prime my eyes, so I'm using the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Cream Shadow. And this is in the color Candlelit Peach. So I always put it on my hand first and then I take just a little bit of the product and smooth it out all over my eyelid just to make sure there's like an even base. Put it under my eye as well. For foundation today, I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin and I'm applying it with the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. And I thought it was a little weird looking at first, but when I got into the creases of the nose, inner corners of the eyes and mouth, I really like how precise it was. And I wanted a bit more coverage, so I grabbed my Anastasia Concealer in 2.0 and mixed it with the foundation. To fill in my brows, I'm going to use my brow liner from M and it's in the color black. Next I'm going to apply some concealer to my under eye circles and the dark parts around my mouth. JLo's look in this video is all about her highlight and bronze and um, illuminating bronzer. So today I'm going to use a lot of illuminators and bronzers, liquid and powder. And for my liquid bronzer, I'm going to use the M by Michelle Phan. It says illuminating skin filter and it's this deep bronze color here that's dripping down my hand. And um, I'm going to apply it with this flat brush here. This is from, I think I got it from like the dollar store two years ago, but it's still a good brush. So I'm going to take the bronzer from um, the M line and I'm just going to apply that right on my cheek. For my highlight, I'm going to use this BB Plus Illumination from Gerard Cosmetics and it is in cream form and it's this guy right here. And I'm going to put this on the high points of my face um, to highlight. And this is a crazy amazing highlighter. Look how beautiful it is. It's super reflective. I used to be scared of using these kind of highlighters because I thought highlighter means it's gonna highlight my imperfections. It, I feel like it helps distract from all of the imperfections like the, um, I hate saying crater, honestly, but <laughs> it's true. So, but it does, it like distracts from all the cratery areas. It's such an ugly word, crater. I noticed how the light was hitting the corners of my forehead, so I went ahead and applied it right where the light would naturally hit on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose and also the cupid's bow. I 
Okay, so I'm gonna seal my makeup, but I don't want it to take away from the dewy, glowing, illuminating skin. So what I'm gonna do is take my Vincent Longo powder, and this is beige number three, and I'm gonna take just a little bit of it and lightly dust it all over my face. And now we're moving on to the eyes, and JLo has really simple makeup for her eyes. Really simple. Um, there's no eyeliner, There's it's just eyeshadow and mascara. I'm gonna use lashes because I think I, what, I just have to. Um, for the base color, I'm gonna use Smashbox Full Exposure. I'm gonna take this slight taupe color and I'm gonna work this into my crease. And I'm gonna use my Zoeva Luxe Soft Definer Brush and it's in number 227. I'm gonna wash this color onto the crease and create a cat-like shape with this shadow. I'm going to clean up and shape the wing with the Anastasia Concealer Brush. With a flat shader brush, I'm taking the same color from the Smashbox palette and applying it to the lower half of the bottom lash line. She has a really nice shadow wing, so I'm gonna just deepen up that wing that we created, and I'm using my Anastasia Tamana Dress Your Face Anastasia palette. I'm taking the chocolate color here, this little brush here. I'm gonna use the, the dome part of the brush. I'm gonna use this side of the brush. Now I'm just gonna deepen the outer V area within the cat eye. Because it's not going at like a point, I'm just gonna take my concealer brush that I've been using to clean it up. I'm also gonna bring the chocolate color down to the lower half of the bottom lash line to deepen up the lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna use this color from the Sigma palette and apply it to the inner part of the lid, and then I'm gonna feather the edges out with a blending brush. For the highlight, I'm using this color from the Lorac Protego palette, and I'm patting it onto the brow bone and then I'm gonna flip the brush around to the um, blending side and I'm just gonna blend that shadow into the other colors. And to add light to the inner corners, I'm gonna apply this shimmer champagne color. And then I'm gonna go back into that pearl color from the Lorac Pro to Go palette and apply it just in front of the Smashbox highlight. And this is gonna over exaggerate our highlight like she has in the video. To lengthen my lashes, I'm trying out the Cargo HD Mascara today. To grab the bottom lashes easier, I'm going to use a smaller brush. This is from Vincent Longo. Bam. Uh, that's why I love the Vincent Longo Mascara. And the formula is dry, so it holds your curl. I love this mascara. I just, you know how you like you love something, but you just want to try other brands and you kind of throw it back. Um, this is the one of those mascaras that I, I'm going to keep going back to. I'm going to do my other lower lashes and then we'll move on. Now I'm going to apply falsies to make my lashes look full and flirty. Just setting them on the center and then attaching one side at a time. Contour, I'm using the City Color Contour Effects Palette and just using the contour color to hollow out the cheekbones, forehead, and the nose. For the highlight, I'm taking the Anastasia Contour Palette to highlight and bring light to the cheekbones and the bridge of the nose. Now I'm going in with the Girlactic Bronzer and just sweep that right on top of the cheekbones going back into the hairline.
Next, I'm gonna line my lips with a red lip liner. Besides being super glowy, she has a really nice red lip in the video. So today I'm gonna use the Gerard Cosmetics Fire Engine. And this is the final look. I'm drinking my coffee this morning. It's hazelnut, if you quit. Did I have lipstick on my teeth? Bye. Bye, dollies. Why am I forgetting to do that? Now I have lipstick all over my face. I'm forgetting to say bye, dollies. That's like my thing. What was wrong with me? I don't know. That's it. That's it. Actually, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can keep up with my videos. I post every Tuesday and Friday. And if you missed my last two videos, don't forget to check the two boxes below. And your tweets, I always post your tweets over here on the side, so don't forget to check those out. So that's it. I love you guys so much. Bye, dollies.